Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. The grandfather Charles was such a harsh and a dominating man. He was still physically strong and seemed to be younger than his age despite being 70 years old. Likewise, he was a wealthy man who lived in the countryside and who was considered the richest person there. The grandfather Charles was also respected by all people and his words were heard there. The grandmother, Matilda, was the exact opposite of him, who was kind, affectionate woman whose features of beauty were still visible on her face, and time has not changed her much either. She was so generous so that she offered help to everyone who was in need. Furthermore, she treated everyone in the big house with kindness and love. Thus, she was loved by everybody. The grandfather, Charles, built a big house because he wanted the whole family to live together. He also founded a large farm and a big stockyard. In addition, he owned vast agricultural lands, which were cultivated by workers on a regular basis. This family's work was concerned in the agricultural and livestock fields, so that they've established a company to export their agricultural and livestock products. The grandfather had three boys and one girl named Eve. The eldest son was called Victor, and he was the grandfather's right hand, who was responsible for running certain projects determined by his father. He was bossy and tough-tempered, much like his father, and he had two boys and only one girl. The middle son, named David, who looks like his mother and unlike his older brother, he has one daughter and one son. The young son, named Max, who was 27 years old and he'd not yet married. Yet, rather, he had just finished his university education, majoring in business administration. He returned home after his father's request to take care of running their export company. These individuals lived together in the grand palace ruled by the grandfather's orders and strict laws, from the time of waking up to the times of eating and going to sleep, and many other laws. Every person violating these laws or not respecting them would be subjected to severe punishment by the grandfather. The grandfather's decisions were valid for all the family members, starting from his three children and daughter to all of his grandchildren. He was also the responsible of planning the future of each one of them. For instance, the grandfather, Charles, was the one who chose for everyone what and where to study. Moreover, he used to interfere in all their big and small decisions, and even with regard to the subject of their marriage. He chose the wives of his two sons, but rather not them. After Max returned to the countryside, one day he went out wandering on his horse and walked until he reached green lands in a nearby area not far away. While he was walking, he suddenly heard a loud screaming accompanied by crying, so he hurried to understand what was wrong. There he found a girl lying on the ground, and when he approached, he realized that she'd been bitten by a snake. Max did his duty to remove as much as he could of the poison from her hand and tried to prevent it from spreading to her entire body. Then he quickly transported her to the village hospital in order to receive the appreciate treatment. As a consequence, the girl's health situation did not get worse. Max was also trying to calm the girl by telling her that she'll be fine. He waited until he was satisfied that the girl's condition was stable and that she was well. Max knew that her name was Alice after she thanked him for saving her life and they got to know each other. Before leaving, Max told Alice's family about her situation so that they could come visit her. Then he asked her to give him her phone number under the pretext of reassuring about her. But he, in fact, wanted to keep in touch with her. But he found only this way, so they exchanged their phone numbers. A few months later, Max and Alice got to know each other very well. Often they talked on the phone and sometimes they met in the village. They fell in love with each other and finally decided to get married. Max headed home with immense joy that he'd found his dream girl. So he went straight to tell his parents of his marriage decision and started talking about Alice. As soon as Charles heard the name of the girl's father, he became so angry and began shouting loudly at Max. At that moment, Charles expressed his total rejection of this marriage to the girl. This was because there was a great enmity and hatred between both Max's father and Alice's father a long period ago, and that their hostility did not end yet, according to Charles. As a result, they later told Max that he would never accept Alice as a wife for his son and she would never enter his house as long as he's alive. Moreover, he threatened him that if he thought about marrying her, he would disavow him and expel him from the house, and also deprive him of the inheritance and all his rights. 
Max could not accept the idea of letting Alice nor leaving her no matter what happened and whatever circumstances forced him. He believed that marriage is a fateful decision, which he made after thinking, and it will not be done except with the girl he loved and had chose. After thinking a lot, what Max did was that he proposed to Alice alone and married her directly, after her father was hardly satisfied. After that, he heard that her father, Charles, disowned him, kicked him out of the house, and cut all their relations with him. It was difficult for Max to realize that his father abandoned him, and he could never see his mother again, nor his siblings. He was really sad and astonished by the harshness of his father, but rather he did not regret his marriage despite everything, since it was not fair for him and Alice to be separated because of an old enmity between their parents. It was then when Max decided to travel outside the countryside, so he went with his wife, Alice, without any money or luggage except with a certificate and business administration. After they moved to the city, they faced many difficulties and challenges at the beginning to find a house which protected them from the heat and rain, and a work that enabled them to meet the expenses and costs of their various needs. In order to provide a decent life for him and his Alice, Max searched a lot for a job in the field of his specialization. So he put his CV in many companies, but he did not receive any response in those following days. However, after a few days, Max was lucky, and he was accepted in a company in a respectable job. And thanks to his intelligence, honesty, and efficiency in his work, he was able to create a prominent place for himself in the company. Within time, their financial situation improved. After a year, Max decided to exploit the money that he earned in something that would benefit them more. This happened when he found a small company that went bankrupt, so he decided to buy it with the intention of rebuilding it as fast as possible, in a field he'd always loved, which was fashion. Max worked very hard days and nights, establishing and running his own company. Also, he exerted great efforts until he got the first project deal, which was a very important opportunity. So Max did not waste time. Yet he worked hard to make it successful, and that was what happened. As a result, the customer was satisfied. Months rolled by, the company's situation stabilized, and it dealt with other companies and big projects and winning deals. Max was finally able to achieve his goal as he successfully established his own company in fashion design that enjoyed and continues to enjoy prosperity and successive successes. This was thanks to his sincerity and admiration for his work. Moreover, he also owned major shops in the city bearing the logo and brand of his own company. Today, Max decided to come home early and take Alice to eat dinner outside. But just when he entered the house, he heard Alice screaming and found her suffering from the pain of childbirth. So Max quickly took her to the nearest hospital, and there Max received the best news that he had a son. He was so excited when he held his son and kissed him. Alice and he agreed to call him Eric. In the countryside, the grandfather, Charles, was very ill, and all he was saying was pronouncing the name of his youngest son, Max. He regretted what he had done with him these past years after he abandoned him. His only wish at the time was to see him. Charles was afraid that he would die before he saw him. Grandmother Matilda decided to personally take care of this matter, so she asked her middle son and her two grandsons to find their uncle's location as soon as possible, and she decided to go meet him and bring him by herself. Therefore, as soon as Matilda discovered Max's place and in any city he resided, she headed directly to the city where Max lived. She wished she could stand up to her husband years ago and prevent him from expelling Max, but she was not strong enough to do so. It was raining in the city, while the grandmother, who was walking and searching about the exact shops of her son, so she got wet. What made the situation worse is that her clothes got dirty after a car passed by. Thus, she became in a deplorable condition, but it didn't take long and went to one of her son's shops. The grandmother, Matilda, entered the store quickly, and her eyes flashing in tears. She was looking around the store. Perhaps she could glimpse and see her son. When the seller saw her, he felt sorry for her and dressed her in warm clothes. A short time passed, and suddenly Max entered the shop on a tour to inspect the conditions of his stores and know the latest developments, and he was doing many tasks himself to ensure that they were performed to the fullest. Soon Max was surprised by seeing his mother in the shop after several years, but he quickly headed and hugged her strongly and began to kiss her face and hands with tears flowing. The grandmother Amanda told her son Max about the father's deteriorating health and his desire to see him. He felt so sad and upset after hearing this news, as whatever happened, Charles still is his father, and he had never hated him. As soon as possible, Max accompanied his mother and Alice and Eric, as well as headed to his father. At that time, the grandfather, Charles, was taken to the house, and two medical workers had been brought to take care of him at his request. 
the meeting between Charles and his son was very touching, especially when they hugged each other and Grandfather Charles asked for forgiveness for Max for everything he did for him. It was true that the majority were crying, but on the other hand, a feeling of joy crept into their hearts, because finally the problem was solved between the father and his son, and their relationship returned as strong as it was before. Max and his wife and son spent a few weeks in the house with his father, mother, and all the family members in a quiet, harmony atmosphere. But then they left, as Max had been absent from the company for so long. Now it's time to go back to work. So they returned to their home in the city after promising the family to pay a visit next month. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.